my beautiful baby? Have you seen my tomato baby? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. baby, so free they cool me temper. I got baby, na sugar, sugar. Yes, like you had me is a crochet braid. So I did this hair with free dress bohemian curl in three pockets. Like after installing it, what I have left is like six pieces of the long strands of it. So I cut it into two and installed and um yeah, I did like the invisible part somewhere here. I can wear it anyhow I want here. Center. This is the center part if I'm not mistaken. No, it's a side. I still have the center part like anywhere I want. At times I put it up and I wear it like a fro. Yeah, I do wear it like a fro. In any way, so this hair has been versatile. It's, I think it cost me like £5.99 the pack, so I used three. And it took me like how many hours to finish? Between four or five hours because you know it's like it's not like other kinky twists that you knot and it stays. You knot it like five times so it doesn't slip out. So that's hence this style you see. Before I had it like here. So as this goes by, like I'm not a fan of long, long hair. If it's long, let it be long. If it's short, it has to be short. So I kept trimming it and finally came up with this versatile look because, like you can see, I can rock it in this way and slay. Yeah, so this is my crochet braid. This is the, it's past two weeks, right? Yes, two weeks I've been wearing it. It does um, tangle a bit, but you have to have your scissors all the time. But I normally comb with my hands. I put my hands, spray my water, and bam, 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 and shake it off. So, depending how you want to wear it, if you want to see how I did all this. You have to keep watching. There you see the braid pattern and how I go all about it. But meanwhile, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe down below, like, comment, follow me on my social media pages on my Facebook, I am Effie. Follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat. And before then, I'll see you all in my next video. I love you all. Bye. I love you all. That's the cornrow for my hair, the style I used. And um, I did like close cornrow in the front and at the back, like circle or zigzag as you want. And at the sides, you can see I have three cornrows by the sides and like four or five in the front or six locked together where I can do the pattern. And the hair I used is Bohemian coils, color one, length is 20 and i cut them into two so this is what it looks like coily not too shiny and all you need to do is grab your scissors cut into two if you're going to use it as a half if not you can install as long however you desire by me i desire it short so i got it short all your process going to be Grab your crochet needle or your hair pin, whichever one you use, snip it to your hair. The hair you have to divide them because if you do it as a bulk, it might not be good or it will slip off. So it's better you divide them. I divide into two or three depending and you start 
excruciating. I not three, four times, five times, so that the hair doesn't slip off as it's slippery. As you can see, this is what one pack went for me. And the second part, I'm going to show you how I knot this braid or this crochet. It's, it's easy, it's not easy because the hair is slippery and it's, you are dividing it in tiny bits. So it's quite of taking time. So this is the slow version of how I knot the braid. You put in your needle, grab the hair you're going to use, put in the needle or pass it through the crochet braid and lock it in then when you lock it in make sure you make a space for your hands or your fingers to not because this hair has a tendency of flying out everywhere so you might even go along with the ones you've done so or the crochet needle can hook any other one so when you do it, glide it through your hair to make sure it's not knotted anywhere. Then you pass on to knot the hair once and you twist your hands. You can see I twist my hands this way and you knot again. So that's the process. It's simple and you knot it again. So that's what you do up to four times or five times as you desire. I, I advise you, you do like up to four times so that this hair doesn't slip off your hair as time goes on. Especially if you want to carry it for a longer time. So that's it, guys. It's very easy. So that's what two packs and three packs is. I'm almost done. Just trying to show you how I do my invisible part. I know it's been everybody does it in YouTube, so you can find out how. Just trying to show you, and I will link the video I made on invisible part on not less crochet with a kinky twist, so that you can have a look. I'm not going to teach it here. I'm just trying to show you what I do. It was a struggle anyway, because the hair was going out. It was slipping out. It got me annoying. And I couldn't like talk because my son was sleeping and you know all those things <laughs> so that's it that's how I did this hair it's pretty good it's my first time of using a free dress product and I can say yeah I like it I like it so that's the whole hair and yeah that's the final look you can fluff it up and you have to trim just trim the ends and make it fine this is how the hair looked the next day after trimming and yeah i wore it long but after some time the heat came up i couldn't cope up i keep trimming it till i went to this stage i love now thank you for watching and see you on my next video bye